YouTube, Facebook, Big Dog Brett, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Atlanta Legends versus the Orlando Apollos. Yeah, I said Apollos. I am not looking forward to this game. This this is not. <laughs> this is probably going to be one of the worst games we played, um, if we play anything like what we did last week. Uh, got the video out a little late. Had a lot of stuff going on. Life happens. Um, today I'm going to be spending some time with the family, going to some, doing some family stuff. So um, I don't know that I'll be able to do the halftime report or the end of game report. If I can get to it, I will. If not, sorry guys. So really what you're looking at when it comes down to the the Orlando uh, to, over the Apollos versus the Legends, it's really going to be a matter of can our passing defense stand up and can our offense function? Um, I don't know what happened to Aaron Murray last week. He completely fell apart. Uh, I think we got behind in the numbers and then we started getting a little desperate. And I think that that really kind of snowballed into an effect that we just couldn't recover from. The defense overall for Atlanta is actually better than what you may think. We're number one in the league in pass defense. The, the Apollos are number one in the league in, off, in passing and offense. So it's, it's going to play those two against each other and we're going to see how we stand up. If we can limit them on the scoreboard, we might be able to uh, we might be able to be competitive in this game. If not, if we can't stop that offense, it's going to be a serious problem. Their defenses continue to get better. Hopefully, Zampezi having enough, and one more week to work with the offense is doing a better job of playing towards their strengths, coming up with some better plays, so that when we get in some of those desperation areas that we got into, that we're not. We're not wasting those opportunities. We've had plenty of opportunity to get out there and and really um, be competitive, but unfortunately, there's been times where we went for a touchdown when we could have went for a field goal. Um, we've we we're we too many too many times this season we've gotten ourselves into a situation where we had to go for the touchdown instead of taking the three points. And over the course of the game, that's really kind of hurt us because if we didn't get the touchdown, which by the way, I'm pretty sure we're worse than the league in the red zone. We get into that position, and it just forces the team to just uh, lose momentum. And then you come back, and you start to gain a little momentum on the offense, and then you get an interception or a fumble. I mean, it, it's really a matter of shooting ourselves in the foot. And I think that's the the biggest, this you know, the the most disheartening part of the whole thing is that we're really trying to come along as a football team, but we keep making these mistakes that that are just almost unacceptable. Um, Aaron Murray looked like Matt Sims last week, and that, I mean, it's just you can't you can't play football like that and on any level and expect to be competitive. It's just it, it's not it's not going to work. So, um, what what we're really looking for here today is Atlanta is going to have to come out and start fast. And if they don't come out and start fast, if they can't get that ball moving to start with, which has been one of our strengths, is to is to maintain possession of the clock. Anytime we don't maintain more than 30 minutes in the game, we lose, which is what it is. Um, we've got to find a way to stop the run. Uh, I, I can I can assure you that Steve Spurrier has sat down and he's looked at our tape and he said, you know, they, they do a really poor job of stopping the run, especially late in the game. So there's probably going to be a very methodical offense that's going to come from him. That They're going to use the run to set up the pass. Um, they're trying to use that run to set up the pass. They're going to try and get the linebackers sucked in. They're going to try and get the, the secondary to kind of suck in a little bit. And once they do that, they're going to get burned over the top or across the middle. I mean, it's just, it's just how it's going to go, at least in my opinion. Um, wide receivers, Rennell Hall, Chris Thompson, and Dante Dye Jr., all of these guys are, are phenomenal. Um, they can catch a ball anywhere you throw it to them. So if we're not able to stop those guys, that's going to be a bad day for us. Um, we've got, uh, they've got Earl O'Connor or O'Kine or O'Kine or, 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 or I'm not sure how you say his name, but he's, he was out last week. He's going to be back this week. Um, by the way, the Apollos will clinch a playoff spot if they beat us today. So they're going to be highly motivated. Um, I'm hoping Malachi Jones will have a good game. I think we need to do a little better job of, of, throwing these tight ends instead of trying to throw in the traffic. 
Um, I think that you're going to see uh, Zampese is going to have to do a better job of making this offense a little more versatile. And we've also got to find a way to get some push on the offensive line. We've got to protect Murray. We've got to give him time to throw. We've got to give our guys time to get open. If we don't do that, there's really no, there's really no chance in us getting out there. Looking at uh, last week's performance, um, it, if, if we get a half of a repeat of that, we're in serious trouble. The Atlanta Legends don't do a great job of getting after the quarterback for the other team, but they don't do a bad job either. And if they can get more pressure on this quarterback, especially after having a bad week, both teams had a bad week last week, I think you're going to see that this game will be more competitive probably than what you realize. The Apollos are averaging about 28 points a game right now. Uh, our average is nowhere near that. But I think that if, if we, if, <laughs> big if here, if we can hold them to maybe 24 points, I think we got a shot. Um, but unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to have to pick the Apollos. You guys jump down in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you guys for jumping on. We really appreciate it. I'm also going to be posting this video on Facebook. So if you guys are on Facebook, please share. Uh, throw this around if you would. Post it to other groups. It's fine. Um, I think that the Apollos is going to have a tw the score is going to be 24. And I think that the Legends for a win, 27. So it's going to be a close game. Uh, I think it's going to come down to the wire. And we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks so much for you guys tuning in. Have a great day. God bless. Go dogs.